hello viewers in today's class we are going to solve an integral uh, in which greatest integer function is involved right so uh, let us uh, evaluate this integral from square root of 2 to square root of 5 x square greatest integer 2x square minus 1 over 3 uh, dx right so let us start so let us first uh, denote this integral by uh, i and uh, let us make the use of uh, substitution method so uh, let us uh, substitute uh, t is equal to 2x square minus 1 over 3 right okay so now here we have uh, changed the variable from x to t so uh, we can now write uh, x square is equal to 3t uh, plus 1 over 2 and uh, x can be written as a square root of 3t plus 1 over 2 right okay now here uh, t is equal to 2x square minus 1 over 3 so therefore uh, dt over dx is obviously equal to 4x over 3 right and uh, dx uh, can be written as 3 over uh, 4x dt right and uh, for x we can write uh, this value and this is uh, a square root of uh, 3t plus 1 over 2 and here we have dt so we can now write uh, dx is equal to 3 times square root of 2 over 4 times square root of 3t plus 1 right so this is the value of dx now let us change the limits so here uh, we have the limits from x is equal to uh, square root of 2 to x is equal to square root of 5 so when x is equal to square root of 2 the value of uh, t is uh, equal to uh, 2 times square root of 2 square uh, minus 1 over 3 and this is uh, 4 minus 1 3 over 3 that is 1 and here we have uh, when x is equal to square root of 5 we have 2 times square root of 5 square minus 1 over 3 and uh, this is uh, square root of 5 square is 5 5 to the 10 10 minus 1 9 9 over 3 that is 3 right so when x varies from square root of 2 to square root of 5 t varies from uh, 1 to 3 so now uh, this integral i uh, can be uh, rewritten as uh, uh, integral from uh, see here we have the limits square root of 2 to square root of 5 so now we have the limits from uh, t is equal to 1 to 3 and for x square uh, we can write uh, 3t plus 1 over 2 and uh, here we have greatest integer uh, t and for dx we can write uh, this value so this is 3 times square root of 2 over 4 times square root of 3t plus 1 uh, dt right so now uh, this integral uh, is reduced to this one so now here uh, we have uh, uh, 3t plus 1 raised to 1 and here we have 3t plus 1 uh, raised to half so now we can further simplify this integral as uh, limits from 1 to 3 and uh, 3 times square root of 2 can be taken outside and here we have 2 for the 8 and uh, here we have power 1 and here we have power half so we have 1 minus half that is half so in the denominator we have 3t plus 1 uh, half and greatest integer t dt right now we have to evaluate uh, this integral now this integral 
i uh, can be written as a sum of uh, two integrals i1 and i2 right okay so now here uh, we observe one more thing that when t varies from uh, 1 to 3 it means here we have uh, t is equal to 1 here we have t is equal to 3 and in between we have the integer 2 right so uh, we'll have two integrals one is from 1 to 2 other is from 2 to 3 so uh, when uh, t lies between 1 and 2 then obviously uh, the value of greatest integer t is equal to 1 and when uh, t lies between 2 and 3 then obviously the value of uh, greatest integer t is uh, equal to 2 right so this is due to the definition of greatest integer function so now here i1 uh, the first integral is from 1 to 2 and the second integral is from 2 to 3 so uh, let us take uh, this uh, constant and now we can uh, split this whole integral into two integrals and here we have 3 times square root of 2 over 8 and uh, uh, let us have here i1 plus i2 right so now uh, i1 is from 1 to uh, 2 and uh, here we'll have uh, 3t plus 1 half and for this greatest integer uh, t uh, we'll have 1 right because uh, when t lies between 1 and 2 then the value of greatest integer t is 1 right and i2 is from 2 to 3 so here we'll have 2 to 3 and uh, we can write 3t plus 1 uh, raised to half and for this greatest integer t uh, we have 2 so here we can write uh, 2 and here we have dt right so now uh, we have uh, to evaluate these two integrals uh, to find the value of the given integral so now here uh, we have uh, 3t plus 1 uh, raised to half uh, so in order to uh, integrate uh, this uh, uh, integral uh, what we can do uh, we can make use of substitution method now what we can do uh, we can substitute uh, uh, y is equal to 3t plus 1 and uh, dy over dt is equal to 3 so uh, dt can be written as dy over 3 and uh, if we change the limits uh, then we'll have uh, when t is equal to 1 then y is uh, equal to uh, 3 times 1 uh, 3 plus 1 that is 4 and when t is equal to 2 uh, we have y is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1 so this is uh, 6 plus 1 uh, 7 right so now this integral can be written as uh, uh, 4 to 7 and here we have y raised to half and for dt we can write uh, dy over 3 right okay similarly we can uh, uh, integrate uh, this integral so again uh, we can uh, substitute uh, say uh, say u is equal to uh, 3t plus 1 so we can write uh, du over dt is equal to 3 and uh, dt is equal to du over 3 right now changing the limits so uh, when t is equal to 2 then the value of u is uh, 3 times 2 plus 1 that is 7 and when uh, t is equal to 3 then the value of u is 3 times 3 plus 1 and this is uh, 10 
right so now uh, this integral can be uh, written as from 7 to 10 and here we have u raised to half and this 2 can be taken outside and here we have uh, uh, du over 3 so now uh, this these two integrals can be written as here we have 3 times square root of 2 over 8 and uh, here we have 1 over 3 and y raised to half when we'll uh, integrate it uh, we have uh, 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 and here uh, the limits are from 4 to 7 and uh, here we have 2 and uh, this 3 can also be taken outside and u raised to half uh, can be integrated as u raised to 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 and the limits are from 7 to 10 and here uh, we have used the result that integral of x raised to n uh, dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1. So now uh, this step uh, can now be written like this. So uh, this 2 will go to the numerator. So we'll have 2 over uh, 3 times 3, 9 here. And similarly, this 2 will go to the numerator. So we'll have 4 over 9, right? Now uh, we can uh, further write it as 3 times the square root of 2 over 8. And here we have 2 over 9 and substituting the limits and taking the difference we have 7 raised to 3 by 2 minus 4 raised to 3 by 2 and here we have 4 by 9 and 10 raised to 3 by 2 uh, minus uh, 7 raised to 3 by 2 right so viewers uh, now we can write 7 raised to uh, 3 by 2 as 7 root 7 and 4 raised to uh, 3 over 2 can be written as 2 square 3 over 2 2 to get cancelled 2 cube is equal to 8 and here 10 raised to 3 by 2 can be written as 10 times the square root of 10 and uh, this is 7 root 7 right now our aim is to simply uh, uh, solve it and to simplify it so now uh, to save the time uh, I am directly writing the steps so now we can take 2 by 9 uh, common uh, from these two terms so we'll get uh, this step right so now here we have 3 times 3 here we have 2 4 the 8 and we have a square root of 2 over 12 and uh, here we have 7 root 7 minus 8 plus and this is 2 times uh, uh, 20 root 10 and here we have 14 2 times 7 14 root 7 and uh, we see that uh, these two terms are like terms so now uh, we can write square root of 2 over 12 so uh, this is uh, 20 root 10 and uh, 7 minus 14 is minus 7 root 7 7 root 7 minus 14 root 7 is minus 7 times the square root of 7 here we have 8 right so now either we can uh, leave this uh, expression as such or if we want to uh, write it in some other way uh, then we can uh, uh, multiply uh, these two terms by square root of 2 uh, so we can write it further as 1 over 12 and here we have 20 times uh, uh, here we'll have 20 times square root of uh, 20 and uh, here we have 7 root uh, 14 and here we have 8 times square root of 2 right so this can further be written as 1 over 12 and square root of 20 can be written as 2 root 5 so here we'll have 40 root 5 minus 7 root 14 and here we'll have 8 times square root of 2 right and if we further multiply these three terms by 1 over 12 then uh, we have 40 over 
12 so this is 4 tens are 4 threes are so here we have 10 over 3 times square root of 5 minus and here we'll have 7 over 12 times square root of 14 and here we'll have uh, 2 over uh, 3 times square root of 2. So viewers uh, uh, this expression uh, can now be written like this. So the value of uh, this integral is 10 over 3 times square root of 5 minus 7 over 12 square root of 14 minus 2 over 3 times square root of 